fragile, this elevation, so if you step on them, they can take a really long time to grow back. So we want you to stay on the trail. Um, so don't pick any flowers or take any stones or anything like that either, because this is all sacred land, so everything that it encompasses is also sacred. So we want to leave everything where we found it. So we're up here at the medicine wheel um, site. It's up here in the Bighorns between Sheridan and Lovell and Powell and Cody. And it's a sacred site. I think it's like 5,000 square acres that's sacred to a bunch of Native American people here in the area. Um, but we're going to walk. You have to walk the mile or so up to the top along this dirt road, so we're going to do that. But I'm going to show you a few things here and then a little bit up there. Do a mat. Where are you going, Emmy? Mom wants the blanket out of the truck. Alright, so we're going to walk up now and you have to park here because it's a sacred site. We, dro we drove up about a mile and a half and we park and then we will walk up this road to the top. So, see how it goes. See if there's anything interesting over here. Uh, there's more to read. So here's a little map of how far the walk is. It's about a mile and a half to the site. Why don't you go get a couple of bottles of water we can just carry in our hands. I forgot my hat, so my head's gonna fry. I won't video all these, it's tough to... Here's a little something. You can read that if you want. Press pause and read that. I guess I'll do that with all of these. Press pause and read that if you want. So here's, it. here's an aerial photo of Medicine Wheel. Pretty cool. I'll just do them and then you can press pause. So press pause now. And we'll come down here. I don't know if you'll be able to read these or not with all the glare. And that's pattern. My wife was cold. There's any little breeze up here in the mountains, she gets cold easy. The only blanket we have in the truck is that one. So she has it wrapped around her. 
but it looks kind of like a Native American pattern and blanket because we bought it in the Southwest. I keep it on the back seat of the truck. So, kind of funny. <clears throat> These Bighorn Mountains up here are beautiful. If you have a chance to come visit, come up here and you could camp for weeks and not see everything, but it's just really, really pretty all through here. There's meadows and it just goes, all, it just rolls across the top here, these mountain meadows and peaks. Sorry about that. These mountain meadows and peaks all the way across the top. Last night as we drove up to a camp place up campsite up top we saw a herd of elk just off the road huge buck deer probably the biggest I've ever seen just standing there a bunch of does we saw a mama and baby moose last night and then a mama and baby moose this morning so and then more deer as we drove across this morning to this location so beautiful up here. I, I could come up here and just camp for weeks and weeks, so we've just spent two nights in the Bighorns. But these Bighorn Mountains are beautiful. Some of the prettiest I've ever seen. See these meadows and everything through here. So out this way is Lovell and Cody and Powell out on those brown plains out there. Up here in the mountains, it's super pretty. I'm not sure what that is. It must be some kind of observatory or something. It's a pretty cool looking structure. Getting close, just walking along this road. Hey, this lady's wrapped in a blanket like you. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> You're a dork. I'm gonna set your water on this blanket. Here's what they ask you to do because it's a sacred site. So the rangers, the U.S. Forest Service people at the beginning gave you gave us a little talk and asked us to be respectful up there as if we're in a a religious center like a temple or a church or something of that nature something a place people consider sacred because this is a sacred place to the Native Americans I don't know who they allow to drive up here So there's people inside the wheel right now <clears throat> doing ceremonial things. Different native people, some of them with feathers and sage. And they're coming up here to worship in their way. Um, and so I'm not gonna film the wheel, but you saw the pictures, it's the rock spokes on the ground and everything, but I don't wanna disrupt him be disrespectful to what they're doing. It's weird, people keep driving up here and I guess if you get permission at the gate, they'll let you drive in. 
and so that was just a quick view of the sides everybody had stepped out for a minute so. but I'm still not going to go film in there I don't know if you want to come visit come visit hike up here and see it for yourself um, it's pretty cool it just feels quiet and sacred and calm up here surroundings. I guess we found out that's an FAA tower and planes that are flying anywhere in the region. They send signals back and forth and they have to tell them a code or signal in order to register so that they, they know that's how they track all the planes in the sky and know that they can be there I guess you could say. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> Pretty place. I think that's all I'll film. So. Oops. so, come visit Medicine Wheel. It's really cool up here in the Bighorn Mountains. It's a special place. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on this field trip, guys.